So this is the circuit design of a very simple gate to trigger converter. Um, so basically you have an uh, input signal, which is a, just a big long square wave coming from a low frequency oscillator from uh, say a 555 timer. Um, what that does is it now goes through a 10 nanofarad capacitor and a 47K resistor to ground, basically a high pass filter. And what that does, it's a differentiator circuit. So what it does is it converts this waveform into this waveform where you have a positive going spike um, and a negative going spike. Um, uh, so as the capacitor charges and then discharges um, through this resistor. Um, so the negative going spike, um, we don't want that to go into an input of an op amp uh, so we have to get rid of that. So the way to get rid of the negative going spike is you take a diode coming from ground um, and you get basically a positive going spike. So it's a very short uh, positive going spike because of the size of this capacitor. Uh, it calculates out to about um, one millisecond. And then what happens is you put this into the non-inverting input of an op amp. The op amp is... Um, uh, going to positive 12 volts and negative 12 volts and the reference voltage is going through this um, uh, this uh, combination of uh, a voltage divider basically a 100k resistor here and a 20k resistor here and that divides down to about 18 um, percent um, of the voltage. So basically it's compared, uh, when you take it, when you use this voltage divider, it's 20 K over 120 K and that's, uh, 18 percent. And then you multiply it by the VCC voltage, which is 12 volts in this case. And that becomes, um, uh, down to about 2.2 volts. So every time this spike is above 2.2 volts, the op amp output is positive 12 volts. Um, and when it goes below the 2.2 reference voltage, 2.2 volt re reference voltage, it go it swings all the way down to negative 12 volts. So now you have a, a very short pulse, square wave pulse, that is going to positive 12 volts and negative 12 volts. So to get rid of the negative voltage here, you put a diode, which blocks all the negative voltage. And so now the final output, which is the trigger pulse you're looking for to trigger the entire envelope, um, is a uh, one millisecond long pulse that swings between 12 volts and ground. Um, and that's it. That's your gate to trigger converter. So constructing a gate to trigger converter, I have this 555 timer just putting out a, um, a pulse wave or a square wave. Um, every uh, few seconds and so or every second and so it's a low frequency oscillator the waveform on that um looks something like this let's uh see it um there's the waveform uh let's make it smaller And now, basically, I'm putting that signal, which is every couple of seconds, through a 10 nanofarad capacitor um, and a 47K resistor to ground. It's basically a differentiator circuit. And if I take the output off of that, it's going to give me positive and negative going spikes. You can see the positive going spike there that's what it looks like. Um, and if I move the position of it, you should see a negative spike in here. Um, if I zoom out on it a little bit, there you go. And that's the negative going spike. They go up to high peak voltage and it's constantly being triggered at a, at a same rate. So now um, that little short signal, let's measure it out now. Let's see how long the duration of that signal is. Zoom in on it. So these are one millisecond divisions, so it looks like it's about one millisecond. Um, and so I'm going to put this through a diode um, from ground 
to the capacitor to get rid of the negative going spike. So now by adding a diode going from ground uh, into that uh, capacitor resistor differentiator circuit, I got rid of the negative spike. So all you have is a single positive spike that is exactly about one millisecond long. Um, and uh, now we're gonna put it through a comparator, comparator uh, in order to make it a just a short square wave pulse every time um, one of these uh, triggers happens. I have the diode coming from the ground um, right here for the input signal. This is the 10 nanofarad capacitor and that's the 47K resistor. And that's going into the um, non-inverting um, input of an op amp. That's uh, it's a TLO 74 op amp. Um, has positive and negative 12 volt supply. And then for the negative, for the inverting input, I used a voltage divider, which is a 220 um, kilo ohm resistor from uh, going from VCC in and a um, 47 kilo ohm, or a, I'm sorry, a 50 kilo ohm resistor going to ground. So that divides down the voltage um, for the threshold in the comparator. And every time um, that pulse comes in, it compares it uh, to the reference voltage, and every time it's above that voltage, it goes to positive 12 volts. Every time it's negative, it goes to negative 12 volts. So this is the outputs the resulting um, uh, pulse that you get. Um, let me divide it down. So this is the output from the comparator, which is the one millisecond long uh, pulse. And um, you can see here that, uh, you know, if you look at where the actual um, position of the cursor is, um, you know, it's in the middle right now to the zero uh, volts line. And so I could change that. And now it's at minus 12 volts. So when it's negative, it's minus 12 volts. And then at the positive, it's at positive 12 volts. So we want need to get rid of the negative action of it and so i put the output of that comparator through um, this diode right there and so let's look at the output from that converter this is our final gate to trigger converter signal there's no negative going voltages as you can see um, the measurement here when i uh, normalize this to the zero position the measurement of the green cursor here um, is, hold on, it's at zero. And that is our gate to trigger converter. Um, so now we have the final uh, gate to trigger converter. I actually changed this capacitor to a, a even smaller one, to a um, uh, 6.8 nanofarad capacitor to make the ping even shorter, the trigger pulse even shorter. And you can see it here, it's a very short uh, trigger pulse. Um, and the final uh, sound of the symbol is triggered by this. Let me um, remove that and put it here. And this is what the final signal looks like and let's hear what the final symbol sounds like with the envelope generator and the gate to trigger converter so you can appreciate the little hiss of the symbol the problem with the Roland TR-808, it just has the metallic noise and it's a little bit more complicated to make, but the symbol has to have that little white noise sound at the very end, that little sizzle. And so I think that the Boss DR-110 uh, drum machine circuit, which is this schematic uh, right here, which I will go through in a separate video, um, is the way to go uh, for something like this. 
and you get, let's see what the actual signal looks like. Let's configure it to uh, 1x. And you get the white noise here. Metallic along with the metallic noise, and that's the symbol sound visualized on the oscilloscope. You can zoom in on it a little bit. So you have a complex mix of this ping with the envelope generator and the, a separate envelope generator um, for the symbol body which is mostly the metallic sound, the symbol ping, which is the upper, the first part of the sound has a very short envelope and has all the white noise in it. And the de decay is very long for the symbol body, which gives that resonant sort of effect of the metallic sound of hitting a symbol. And uh, now, uh, before I put this on a perf board, I'm going to play around and see if we can um, add some voltage control to it and uh, change the various decays and uh, see if that improves the sound or makes it um, worse because right now it sounds pretty darn good. Um, you might just need to uh, change the uh, or add the ability to um, change the volume of the actual sound using a voltage control, which would give us control over um, how hard the symbol is hit, so to speak. Um, so, because right now it's sort of monotonous and very flat if you just hit it the same way each time, because on a real drum machine, you can, you'll be able to change that. So, um, that'll be the next step. But uh, so far, this is the completed symbol. Thanks for watching.